Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Crew Mode, part number 29, the penultimate part of the Bush Series season, and yeah, we got four more races left, so obviously we'll do two in this part, so I'm looking forward to it, we basically have the championship one, we're just racking up money for the truck series, stuff so we can do that next season and have our t driver tight sheets move up, if he wins the modified title, that's the point. So Ron Horday almost has second place on lockdown, not sure. Points have been shaking up quite a bit between second and fifth for a while, but it's starting to kind of even out here because now Ron Hornaday, Bush, Nash, and Lewis are kind of close together. Not really, but kind of. So, yeah, other than that, um, we got Atlanta. Hopefully, we do okay there. I don't know. Last couple mile and a half tracks really haven't done us very much favors, so I don't, I don't really know. But we'll get in the qualifying here, and hopefully, we can uh, start on the pole and not have a shit show race. Oh, oh fan autographs. Oh, I really don't want to do sweat mode again, but I don't know. I'm going to try to focus. God damn it, I, fuck, I fucked up before it even began. That's sad. That's sad. There is one girl that has, like, hair, but it's, like, transparently out. Like, what is that? Okay, we got to, like, analyze this again. Or you can analyze it. The viewer, I can't, but I just see like texture issues, and it and it made me pause the game and explain it. Okay, you see that? There's the one on the 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 the, 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 the <laughs> yeah, it's like the texture's all weird. Oh my god, I, you know, that's a new fan. Actually, some of the text, all the hair textures are weird. What is this? Okay, you know what? I can take an L on this one for a change, considering... Okay, it says times two, so I guess the difficulty got times two harder. I don't know. Or unless it means times two credits. I don't know. Wait, wait a second. I kind of actually had... Okay, I had a rhythm for a second. This is turning into, like, the biggest shit show. That was... That was the... Nah, that was the worst one yet. I never seen all the hair texture issues. That That's a first on this game. I mean, this thing's, like, 15 years old almost, so I kind of expect something weird to happen, but I finally got it. Off turn four, another pull in the season. We've gotten over 20 plus this this year. It's kind of disgusting, and that was even a faster lap than the first, so that's even more just it, just vomit inducing, just sickness. And we got the pull by four tenths over Kyle Busch. That's pretty good, but we all know, as always, the race trim is always different than qualifying. So hopefully, we just take it easy in the race and just hold the bottom line. Oh my god, why? Why? Why do I keep... Why do they want me to keep signing autographs? It's just... They're just bound to be disappointed. I'm going to lose 5,000 fans today. That's sad. That's almost damn near half my subscriber base. Is that amount, roughly. Not exactly, but pretty close. There are two guys... Or there's three people with the same shirts. I got it. I am having massive, like... Attention deficit disorder right now. This is... I'm... Okay, this is actually... Okay, see, it's not times two, so it's now... Is the game giving me... Wait, wait a minute. It's giving me more points this time, because before it was only giving me, like, 500. Oh, wait a second. Wait a minute. Oh, that's... that's I'm fucking up. Fucking up again. All right. I got no excuse. I don't even have any excuse to defend myself this time. I'm just bad. I'm just bad. Wait, I got... I had a rhythm. All right. I mean, it's still an F, but it's a higher class F, and we still lose 2,500 fans, so... Um, her, actually, we gained 1,500 fans, but we lost 25, so we lost, we had a net loss of 1,000, not 2,500, but it's still a loss, so either, either or, it's still bad. Well, here we go. Set up, it's default as always. Uh, even the wedge is set to zero, so hooray. I think we'll probably make some adjustments in the race and everything. Also, yeah, when I do qualifying, it is set to default, too. I just show default again here when I do the race, so people know that I'm using default, so. Yeah, well... I guess that's not surprising. I have a really bad start. It was like that in Thunder Roll 4 as well, but... Wow. I mean, it's been... Yeah, it's pretty bad. I mean, last four tenths of a second on the start. I mean, we only dropped a, almost third, so... That's not too bad, but... Yeah, considering how this, this game burns tires off like crazy, we're gonna try to take it easy here. And just... You know, move up to the front. I don't know why on earth the car is wiggling already. That's kind of... Kind of sad. The car's already having problems, and we didn't even finish one lap. Oh, my. But, we did get a good run in there, and we're going to try to make the pass on Kyle Busch. We did have, actually got a hell of a run. Uh, nope, okay. Kyle. Alright, 
Can you give me give me an angle? I'm gonna hit you. Like I, I, if I don't have an angle into the corner, you're gonna get hit. And don't get mad about it because you're pitching me off the track, and that's very mean. There we go. There we go. We gotta run. All right, beautiful. Now we just gotta make the pass. Haul ass. That rhymed. And wait till we pit on lap seven. Okay, GG Kyle Busch. I, I I tried. He just he just got the inside of me. Good thing is the car is pretty I don't know if I'm just getting better at managing the shit tires or, or what, but we're doing okay as we just crossed and back over. The car doesn't like to turn anymore, but we'll be pinned next lap, so thank God. Could definitely make it a little bit looser and lower the tire pressures. I think I did get a comment about that, like why I don't do that, like why I don't or why do I use the default setup? Because if I put in like even basic pit row adjustments for the start of the race it's gonna pretty much have me dominate all of these races and really have not much happen out of the 34 races there might be two or three that would be interesting in that sense but that's why i usually don't do it because then i'll just destroy the field too much and then there wouldn't even be a video there wouldn't even be this great little battle going on here because i would have a lead maybe maybe it would be but i would just crush the field too much so I feel like this is the best way to balance it out. So yeah, we're going to pit this lap, four tires and fuel. Kyle Busch isn't doing that, so that's actually perfect because we're going to do a little cheeky undercut. And we went down Piro at 70. That was perfect. So yeah, we'll lower these tire pressures, and that's pretty much it. So let's see what our pit crew can do here. Like usual, 15.3 is the estimated time, and they got 15 flat. Perfect. All right, good job, pit crew. Now we'll just have to wait and see where we cycle out. And try not to lip page the field but i don't know because we have such a slow gear i feel like that might hurt us too we might be fast but almost wrecked that could have been cataclysmically awful but i don't know just have to see and wait where we see well i'm having a stroke again just have to wait and see where we cycle out why was that so hard for me to say kyle bush and the rest of the lead lap cars went down pit road we're already looks like we're gonna cycle out in first by a good bit and yeah, because uh, Kenza you know, head down pit road, and here we go, flying right by Kyle Busch. Now we just got to gap him as much as humanly possible. I don't know what the gap will be, but yeah, I don't know. I think it's going to be kind of like Lowe's again, where he's going to he's gonna catch me, and then it's just going to be an all-out brawl, and he's going to win. So, I don't know. We'll see what the interval is. It has to be about a second, I think, because we're going to beat Kenza out by long shot. And that's going to be about, yeah, about a second. All right, perfect. Now we just gotta, you know, keep that or maintain that gap or pull away. Either way, we just gotta hit our mark or hit our lines, hit our marks, and have a damn near flawless race. Because by the time our tires fall off, we'll have a big enough cushion to be okay. Well, it's Lloyd Flag, and we we gapped them by a couple more tenths. I think just last lap, all of our tires got worn, and also it's starting not to stick as good in the corners. So it is starting to fall off, but it's taken quite a bit longer for that to happen. So yeah, that's good. But damn, Kyle Busch just gapped third place. I don't know who's in third, but they're very far back. Kyle Busch is like the only one that's kind of close to me. So considering that we lost last week to Kyle Busch, we're going to win this week to Kyle Busch, or it be Kyle Busch. So hooray, justice, America. <laughs> I'll take that. That was nice. And even, even at the end of that last couple laps, yeah, we were dropping back a bit. So see, that's why it was so good to A, un unintentionally out-cycle Kyle Busch, Two, those adjustments helped. Those are our big key factors. So. Um, got eight, like 18,000 from that with like nine out of the 16, the other five were from Kyle Bush, and then the other two I think were Kenseth. So, yeah, all in all, solid day. Kenseth got started 43rd and got eighth. That's a hell of a run for him. Well, we'll look at the uh, the earnings and whatnot. I, hopefully, Hermie Saller still isn't mad at me for something that happened a very long time ago. This is starting to become like NASCAR Heat 3 with the, uh, with this. I get, um, is that Tim Fiedler? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> when we get to the Cup Series, we'll at least know what the, the drivers look like. <laughs> um, alright, it was just a minor annoyance. So that was, that was it. Tim Fiedler, man, he's still mad. 
He's, I mean, he's still mad, but I don't know if he's mad enough to keep hitting me, but he's still mad enough to, to confront me every race and talk to me about that incident or, or, or cry because, wah, I didn't, re I didn't reply to his text messages, wah. So we got Phoenix. Yeah, so we'll qualify for that. Please, for love of God, no more, like, fan autographs because, I mean, I don't have to. I don't have to, but... I need them prestige points. I don't even know if I'm gaining any doing that, but here we go. Three for three. Three for three in the autographs. One for qualifying, one for racing, and one for here. Why do the fans want to be disappointed every single week like this? Do they just want... I don't know. I'm just... You'd think eventually I would get better at this, right? Because I keep doing these so much. Now, now I'm actually... Well, see, if I actually kind of hit a rhythm... Never mind. 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 Okay, we got it. All right. Do it. I. I. Just can you just give me like the same buttons over and over again? Just give me square the whole time. I'll. I'll always remember that. Okay. You know I was doing good for so long. Fifty-eight. C. Yes, we're not trash, and we gained. 6,500 fans. Hooray. Off turn four for like the 24th time this season we've gotten another pull. And it looked good, but we'll have to be careful in the race is all. And who's in second? Bobby Hamilton. And we got it by about four tenths, roughly. Maybe 3.9, some somewhere around that ballpark range. But yeah, um, let's just get into the race and try to repeat what we did at Atlanta, which is win. Oh my god, why? Why? It's four for four! I've never had this before. I'm, I'm more shook by this than anything in the game thus far. <laughs> Why? Am I going to get better at this? Actually, this is a pretty damn good start. Never mind. Alright, it was looking good for a second there. Okay, well. That was probably the best start we've had since we've gotten like 80 people to sign during this little like mode. But... The textures and the hair it still bothers me. I'm getting, I'm getting offended. How, is this how? Is this what race car drivers see when they give fan autographs? You know, I have a funny story. So, this is like Pocono 2015, and I remember um, Kyle Larson was signing fan autographs and stuff, and I was watching him do that, and he signed like about every person that offered, and then, then Jay McMurray was doing the same thing. But then there was like this kid that had like an autograph or, or a car that he wanted him to sign. And McMurray just, he just ignored him and just walked away. And the kid just looked so sad and it broke my fucking heart. And that was the day I learned that McMurray might be a little bit of a jackass. So, broke my heart. But Kyle Larson, Kyle Larson, he signed every autograph, every, every fan. Take That was the day I learned. Maybe that's what happened, to McMurray. He just like he was he was he was seeing the buttons in his in his viewfinder of his eyes, and that's why he couldn't do it because I don't know. I tried. Setup default same as same as usual. Oh God, why is it starting? Oh, I went to trucks. <laughs> Oops, I don't. I didn't mean to go to trucks. I I done fucked up. Well, to my shock. We didn't have another fan autograph assigned, so it ended at four in a row. But yeah, car setup, same as usual. Even the wedge set to zero, which is nice. All right, now we just gotta just do what we did at Atlanta, but here, which I don't know if we can even really pull off. But got 16 laps here. This this should be a quicker race because this is a much shorter track compared to Atlanta. But we'll keep it in third gear for now. Let's get a launch off the corner, and beautiful. That was actually a perfect turn as one and two. And we can gain a little bit in 3 and 4, I think. It's it's, it's kind of how NASCAR 04 was, where you can get in the corner a lot deeper than the AIs. And it, yeah, it was pretty much the case right there. So, All right, well, that's good. Great start, and we'll head on lap 6. Like, we've done it a lot of tracks that had six, uh, 16 laps. Well, there goes our lead. And just after a while, it just, it just falls apart. We just kind of have to not lose too much more ground but we, we get an amazing run in the front straight away though so that's kind of cool we just gotta not glue against kyle bush and then okay beautiful all right all right i don't want to lose any more spots though so uh, terry cook i've had enough and clear all right 
Yeah, we're pinning the slab. I can't stay out here any longer. I gotta make some adjustments. I'm gonna tighten this thing up because it's very floaty in the corner, as you can kind of tell. So we need some a little bit of tweaking to this setup. I try not to wreck. There we go. Oh, we barely got down there without speeding. That was perfect. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, we'll see what we can do, and hopefully we cycle out in front of the leaders by undercutting the field. Looks like a standard 15-second stop. Yep, perfect. Right on the dot. All right. And now we'll just see where we cycle out. And a couple of people have just started heading down pit road. Are we clear? Are we good? Do not get hit or lepaged. And okay, beautiful. All right, we're just gonna stay up high because I know all these cars are probably gonna head down pit road as we just you know nail the outside wall for for good measure. Oh boy, holy stack up! Yep, yeah, that's why I took the outside line. All right, good. We avoided that that clusterfuck. And it looks like we're not gonna cycle out into the lead. It's gonna be very close, but Terry Cook. I don't know if we're, well, I think we'll get him. Yeah, we'll get him. A good run, turn three. Uh, no. Okay. Well, that's kind of a shame. I thought we would gain a little bit because we undercut them by, at least Bobby Hamilton, at least by two laps. So that's what I was hoping for, but it, it just didn't work out like that. So that that kind of sucks. But thankfully, we did tighten this up, so it should be not so loose entering the corner, which would be good. And we, I don't even know if we'll pass Kyle Busch. Uh, yep. No. And he's going to block. All right, well... I like how he, he I, we entered the same angle, and he he got through there about as good as, no, about a little bit better than I did, but. All right, well, I don't think we can win this race. I, I don't think so. We need to be in the lead and have a chance, but I don't think that's going to happen. But then, I, and then as I say that, we're about to pass him, so I don't know. Don't listen to me half the time. Bobby Hamilton's holding his own pretty good. He's actually gapping me by a little bit. Oh boy. Oh, I didn't like that corner. Nope. It, don't, it didn't like how that then it just didn't turn at all there. Well, I tried something different and it didn't work out. Yep, yeah, I think Bobby Hamilton's got this. I don't think. Bobby Hamilton Jr., I mean. So, yeah, he's got it. I just, that kind of blew that away. So, had to try something different. That was something different too, but that didn't really work out either. All right, GG. I, it just sucks now. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, there goes uh, that. That's a shame. I thought I had a chance to win, but nope. We'll get fourth. You know, it's kind of amazing just how much this car got bad and how much it's fallen off. We're gonna are we gonna run out of fuel? Did I pit too soon here? I didn't even really think about that. I mean Did we just screw ourselves? I don't know. Oh, yeah, we did. Alright, well, that's a lesson learned. Um when you're at Phoenix. Uh pit at halfway, not a lap before halfway, because then that will happen. So can I still get a top 10? Uh, ninth, eighth. I'll take it. I'll take that. That was kind of shitty how we did that, but we cheesed it and we got a top 10. So that's all that matters. Well, that race kind of sucked. I mean, we had a pretty decent first half and then it just all fell apart. Um, even if I paid it like a lap sooner, I don't think I was gonna win anyways because we were just weren't quick enough and that kind of sucked. I don't know what more I really could have done other than, you know, pit when I was supposed to, I guess. But 500 hero points again. 92,000 fans gained. Wow. That's almost about as much as modern NASCAR days attendance. Actually, that might be worse. Oh. Oh, use your head. Tim Fiedel. Oh, my God. He's still mad. Is that Tim Fiedel? I don't know. All right, that's Hermie Sadler. Okay, I didn't know Hermie Sadler was black, but you learn something every day. And I guess that's where this uh, part will conclude, is uh, right here. So, pretty interesting part. I don't remember how Darlington was in the trucks. I think we just crushed the field and dominated, so I don't know if much eventness will happen, but I'll have to wait and see. But the yeah, next part should be the finale, where we wrap up stuff. So, uh, yeah. Uh, 
that's that's about I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Might be a long part next part, but they'll wrap things up. And also we gotta do a cup race at a Homestead, which we'll we'll hire it or get a team next week and go from there. I don't even think it matters because we did the same thing in the uh, Bush season last year, and it didn't change anything. Like I thought, we'd get like a maybe three star rated car, but it didn't really seem like it mattered. So I don't know, but if I can't. If I can, that's cool. If I can't, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. But yeah, our stats are pretty disgusting. Not going to lie. About 50% winage, winage. So, yeah, pretty good. We're locked in. We, we pretty much don't even need to show up the last two braces, and we got it. So, yeah, pretty good season. <laughs> Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Dale Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave. I've Chat 15 Racing News Now, Alan Gray, Mars Sports Games, Robert Dillon, and Zach Page for a donation again. I can't thank you guys enough for your contribution and support the channel every single month like this. It does mean a lot to me, and again, I'm always very appreciative and thankful for it. Well, that about do it for me. So I'll see you all in the, the finale of the Bush series season, then we'll pick a cup team and go from there, and then maybe we can get another, uh, we can get our driver tie sheets into the truck series if he wins the modified championship. If not, he's going to keep his ass back in the modifieds for another year until he wins the damn title, so... Man, that's it for me. I will see you all next part, and I'll see you all later, as always. Have a good day, everyone.